What are some traits to develop to become more resourceful in business? And by resourceful, he means having the ability to find answers to, to things like, I'm going to say that it's just practice, honestly. Like, and what I've learned, though, after studying a lot of people and studying myself and looking back from hindsight is that adversity is a good thing for like not you shouldn't put other people into adversity but if you have if you face adversity it's actually better for you than what you think right and so like generally if you look at really successful people a lot of them have had harsh like uh, experiences throughout their life like pretty testing things and the more of them they have and the more often they sit in those testing grueling environments the tougher they get and we see this with uh you know we see this a lot like the children like if you look at the if you look at the the rich list in any period of time in like you'll know you you'd imagine that the rich list would mostly be people who inherited money and whose families were rich because they would have the known advantage right because their parents would teach them and they would know how to teach them how to do it and then they would have money which is surely going to help them and then they would inherit all of this stuff and they wouldn't have to face any of this adversity so surely these people are going to occupy most of the rich list you would you would think that but it's not true like 85% of the rich list is actually people who started from zero and so it's not what you think so being being like being raised from a rich family is not very good for like for you if you want to be like successful in business but being poor is actually real good for you because it teaches you how to fight and it teaches you like how to develop thick skin and and all of that and so that's really you know like a that's why it, it is that way and then facing challenges in business though like the more you face and the harder the environment the better like george soros is one of the richest people in the world and he was a five-year-old jew in the holocaust right so you imagine if you were a Jew in the Holocaust at five years old, you know, people think that making cold calls is tough. Imagine that. That you're going to be pretty damn tough after you come out of that alive. And so what I'm saying here is that you shouldn't avoid challenges. Like you shouldn't aim to be feeling fine. You shouldn't be aiming to be feeling happy and feeling not stressed and feeling in your comfort zone that's actually a bad thing but i swear a lot of people think that like the point like i hear this all the time well the point of sometimes i'm i'm stressing out with something and it's hard and i have to work hard and i'm getting like i'm getting worn out and people often say to me like why do you do it like isn't the purpose of life to just be happy and i'm like you don't get it this makes me happy like right now i'm suffering but this is the pro this is the process to get the thing and i wouldn't want to just be lying on my like if you want to be happy then just go like you know go and lie on your couch and then just start medicating yourself with some drugs and shit and you'll start start trying to feel happy all the time right it's impossible because even if you do that with medication and, and just lying on your couch and being lazy and eating whatever you want and doing whatever you want, very quickly you're going to get miserable. And so, you know, you shouldn't aim to, you shouldn't aim to like be happy and never ever be unhappy or uncomfortable. You actually achieve happiness through struggle and unhappiness, right? It's the same way the gym works. Like, why do you go to the gym and exhaust yourself? Well, because it's actually good for you. But 
to, to achieve that, it, it's hard and it's not that fun. And why do you eat healthy food when you could just eat like cookies and ice cream? Well, it's actually better for you. And so everything has this relationship, basically. It's like, you know, you don't, don't like, when you face challenges in life, just take them straight on, head on, and don't complain. Like, just ask for more. And don't ever, like, don't ever start thinking, like, I want to be in my comfort zone, I want to do this. Get way out of your depths. You know, like, go way, way out. And then when you think you've tested yourself to the furthest level ever, double it. And then when you think you can't take on anything more, take on more. And just keep going, and you'll be pretty surprised what happens with yourself. What, where you think your limit is, it's nowhere near there. And you can go way harder. And then you'll actually start to enjoy it, right? And so... I would call that trait like grit and thick skin. And, you know, that's, that's what you need to succeed. And how you develop that is by just going straight through like adversity. You know, a lot of people, the things that a lot of people avoid and wouldn't want ever, I actively tr seek out those things and try to do more of them. Like that's how you get good. 